Motow, the women's well-being and yoga class uh, at Converse College has decided to read your book, Dancing Light, uh, as an example of a woman who in her 90s is thriving in large part due to yoga. And so I, I'm Jan LaFrancois, uh, Associate Professor of Psychology uh, at Converse and a certified Iyengar yoga teacher. And um, my students and I would just like to thank you for the interest that you've taken in our class and also to thank you for the inspiration that your life is. Uh, reading, completing our reading of Tao's book, I'd like to hear from you as to um, what you found to be like a, a takeaway point from it or something that is very memorable, something that inspires you from her life, from her writings. So let me throw that question out to the class and <laughs> ask for volunteers. Kathleen. Um, my favorite part about Tao's life story is her selfless giving to help others in need and the fact that no matter how dangerous the situation was, she never felt fear. She didn't allow herself to feel fear, which really inspires me to help me work on my anxiety and just not even allowing those negative feelings into my life. Um, my favorite specific um, point was when she learned um, sort of over time what her aunt was doing to help the um, Jews during World War II to help them escape um, and sort of learning sort of the family ties of helping through selflessness and just that all humanity is equal and that nobody is above or below anyone else. What I really liked about the book and Tal's perspective in general is she did all these great things and you know, that's great, but she also is speaking to us saying we can do these great things. And she's not the only one. Yes, she's very, very exceptional, but so are we. Excellent, excellent. With her not giving up, like her goal was to find her father and everything, and she made a life of her own, even if she had to send her sister off to go find a job. And she made a life herself, and she started from the bottom, and she found her way to the top, and now she's a successful yoga teacher. Like, yes. who yes. can do that? I know, and at the age of 96, so she's amazing. She Parts of the book was when the bomb went through her um, apartment or whatever. Um, it just kind of shows her calmness and sort of readiness to deal with whatever happened in her life. And with that just like non-shaking, like, like no fear and stuff. And I just, I think that's really inspiring. Like she can just deal with a, like a bomb that goes to her house and she's like, oh, okay, you know, ready to move on with what's next, you know, in her life. And I just think that's really great. Thank you, Tao. Thank you for your generous spirit and your enlivening message. Thank you for showing me that no matter what my dream is, no matter how far flung it is, that I should go after it and pursue it. Um, I've always wanted to travel, but I've feared being alone. And from seeing you go through that you met friends with everyone because you knew that we were all connected. You didn't fear going out and meeting people and that really inspired me just to follow my dreams of travel and I thank you for that. Hi, my name is Jesse, and I just really wanted to thank you for sharing such an inspirational story with us. It's a lot of times we lose inspiration in the world that we live in and your story really gave me some hope. So thank you, Tal. Thank you, Tal, for sharing the wonderful experiences of your life and not keeping them to yourself because I have to be honest, your book actually did inspire me and help me get through kind of a difficult time. And it reminded me that there is nothing I cannot do. Thank you and namaste. I just want to say thank you for sharing your experiences with us, your positivity in life, whether it's good or bad, is truly inspirational. And you've given women everywhere a sense of inner strength. And I just want to say thank you. Thank you, Tao, for inspiring me with your powerful story. Because of you, I'm working on no longer being afraid. Through your fearlessness, I am learning to control my anxiety and learn to trust that things will work out if I simply don't procrastinate and start them today. Tao, I want to say thank you for such an inspirational book. It has encouraged me to keep going as a college student since I was discouraged before. You're a wonderful author. Thank you. 
Thank you, Tao, for teaching me to not be afraid of new things, to live each day like it's going to be the best day ever, and to never take anything for granted. I'm really thankful for your book. Um, one of the things that really touched me was the fact that you said, um, what is it? Your thoughts materialize, and if you bring negative thoughts, negative things will materialize. And part of me already knew that, but just the way you said it and the way you lived it, it really emphasizes in my life that negative thoughts will come out and you should stay positive and not let those negatives come out. Hey Tao, my name is Sarah Piku. I would like to thank you for being a role model for young women. Our society needs more women like you to show young girls what a strong, independent woman looks like. You are influential in more ways than one and have left an impact on my life that will last forever.